Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Anno 2070 Deep Ocean. So I've got the uh, weather or the lighting set to dusk. So that's sunset. The sun is setting on our kingdom. But the thing is, it'll keep setting because there's no transition. That's a pity. So I want to show you guys the academy. It's the same academy as last time. Just because some genius Except he has a brand new menu, which is excellent. As you can see, there are more subcategories. So if we go to energy production, if I want to improve my wind parks, it's right here, wind park. If I want to improve my offshore wind parks, it's right here. And it tells you the influence area and maintenance costs or whatever you know bonus it gives you right here so you don't have to always hover over it and the same with every other type of building so instead of just an endless scrolling list now we have categories and subcategories which is excellent as you can see i still have a lot to research Especially in units. My energy only have only need one more. So as you can see, there's geothermic power plant items. They reduce the probability of accidents to minus seventy percent. There's still one more I haven't quite researched. So that, I'm not going to use any of them actually until the tsunami hits. So we we'll use them after. Let's just research that last one. So energy generation, 24 minutes, 20,000 credits. Go for it. Looks like we're running down or we're running low. I am a certified G. And you? Neuro implants, where was I making them? The drugs. Instruments. Here we go. Okay, running low on microchips. That's because I'm outsourcing them. <laughs> or I'm using them somewhere else actually. Let's see. If we're running low on microchips, that means our communicators. Oh, they're still going right. We have a hundred surplus here. Which means I'm taking too much. Where's my ship? Grab a few microchips. We'll calm down. Okay, so indigo. I'm picking up microchips. Let's pick up 20. Yeah, 20 at a time. these guys off. And let's produce some more microchips. I'm producing them down here underwater. Normally you need sandstone and uh, sand and limestone to produce the microchips but no, sand and copper, yeah. Yep, sand and copper. So I've bypassed that and I'm just producing it underwater. So do we have any other mine sites here? All the way over here. Instead of building 
a warehouse. You can see the radius. We can build this one, which almost double the radius. And it costs less actually. Or different materials to build. To build that here. Where's my submarine? My trimaran. Okay, let's pick up some building modules. Your skills correspond exactly to the job specification for this quest. What's the quest? Would like you to conduct the following research. Hydroelectric power plant. Yeah, I think it's about time we built that. So where are my underwater buildings here? Minus 35 power. Do I have a transmitter here? I do. Indigo sending, so from here. Warning. Production breakdown. There you go. Okay, so that's another microchip factory. These neuro implants and the instruments, they sell for a lot of money. And we have over a million dollars now, which is excellent. As you can see, I've started building vegetable farmhouses and rice for our health foods. That's because I've expanded over here. We have some ambitious plans, but we'll make it. This is my Eden Island. I decided to build it on a separate island. I want this one to be very good looking, very natural, very green. I want to have a, I want to build it and a monument in the middle and just build some houses around the sides, some parks, decorations, maybe have some farming around on the outside, on the outskirts. Alert. Prime rate has reached critical level. Yeah, fine. As you can see, I've built T here. Try and make it look nicer on this island. I think that looks good. A lot of wasted space, but you know how I play by now. A couple of lights in the middle. Speaker system. Try and keep it symmetrical. I'm not sure if I showed you guys in the last episode, can't quite remember, but I have another geothermic power plant down in this area of the map that's sending energy to this island. And another feature I saw was, the, you remember this island had this nuclear reactor waste? Registering decrease in crime. That's good. You can see the eco balance is at zero instead of minus 200. That's because there was an item that I bought from Yana and activated it in this island and it reduces the environment impact to zero. So, as you can see, ecological effect zero units. <laughs> Even though it's still dumping dumping nuclear waste. It would have been cool if some men spawned in some equipment and they actually got rid of this. That would have been pretty awesome. So I've gone ahead and built a submarine base with the tech faction. There are a couple of new things here. 
Erebus is capable of firing devastating long range missiles but in turn has no weapon system suited for self defense and the uh, Sisyphus submarines were designed to transport extremely large quantities of goods underwater also features the built in silent running faction function so I guess this submarine transports goods underneath the sea so we're going to give that a go also there's a new unit called Atlas that's basically an aircraft carrier so let's build that as well the aircraft carrier takes 15 units why do I even come here if you ain't interested in the submarine 5 hey those could be a lot of graphics to save space. they look absolutely awesome I think they've improved some of the buildings in that and added some more effects with the expansion pack. Whoa, through the mountain. The water looks especially good. Amazing. Still haven't built a proper pier yet. We'll get to that. Things up. There's someone standing here. Are you blind? Registering new vehicle. Whoa, floating cigar. Where are we supposed to find the cool <laughs> Makes the digital visualization of There's submarines below surface here. invisible for blind? enemies. Nice. So let's dive. It looks pretty awesome. As you can see, it's already slightly submerged. There we go. It's a beautiful look looking submarine. Okay, you can see it has six empty slots for transporting goods. Yeah, not bad. Although it doesn't have any Registry. storage. New vehicle. Yeah. Dive's pretty low. Navigating around the uh, production facilities here. So let's warning, production breakdown. I guess this will re-emerge. If it, if it needs to trade with an island, let's set it to something. Trade route. I have one trade route here that's underwater, so let's add to that one. Aranex. Let's disable diamond. Hey, why are you rising? Okay. There's a little button here. Underwater trading room. So I just activated it. Registering decline in overall population health. Let's see if it submerges. Game saved. Maybe I need this building. Not sure. There we go, it's underneath now. Okay, so it's coming to my main warehouse. So I do not need that building. Destroy it. Speed it up. Yep, there we go. That's an underwater trading route. Yep. 
So that's a new feature. Plus it has six cargo holds, which is excellent. Whoa, this is our Atlas. Sorry, our yeah, Atlas ship. Can hold two aircraft. And I believe they refuel here as well. And repair. I do not have any aircraft, so let's build an airport. Get one ship, two choppers. I need kerosene, so let's buy some. Who's selling? Do you need the Eden Initiative's help? Nope. Just a few seconds. No. Then I'll have some time for you. What about this what guy? Is it? No. Come on, guys. No one selling fuel. Were you followed? Ah, it's you. How's the research coming along? Well, that's Warning. Me. Production halted. Gonna have to make fuel. Vehicle completed. Although they spawn with a full tank, so excellent. Check this out. This is my first time seeing it. Uh, I want you to land here. How do I make you land? There you go. Look at these lights. I do not remember seeing these before. May just be my memory. What goes up must come down. Vehicle completed. Attention, population leaving the city. Why is that? Medical. Is there no hospital yet? Oh, look at that. Alright, guys. I'll get you a hospital. Calm down. Clear. Risk of oh. epidemic under control. Look at that. They. The upgraded. These guys were executives as well. That's a pity. We'll get these guys back. We'll get them back. They this always year, come back. Everyone gets a bonus. It was in the news. How can That's gonna lure back? thousands more workers. Oh, that is nice. That is beautiful. Daytime, very bright. Dawn, dusk, nighttime. It's awesome. So there you go, there's the Atlas. I have no use for it at the moment, but well, it'll come in handy soon. Soon enough, we'll attack someone. Probably this girl here. Look at all these lights. One thing also I didn't notice before, until I set night time. Look at the electricity running through here. Awesome attention to detail. Okay, let's set this back to sunset. Okay, he wants that. My wife has finally found a job. That'll make things easy. No research breakthrough. Oh, no research breakthrough. That's tight. Spent 20,000 on that. 
20,000 on nothing. If what the Ministry of Truth is saying is true, there'll soon be an increase in the hourly wage. Everyone would work for that. Excuse me, I have something I'd like to ask you. Of course I'm going to help you, man. You're a citizen of Iron Gate. I'm obliged to help you. Please say that everything went well. That's a everything weight off my well. back. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see how our microchip production is going. Still on zero. Hmm. Why is it on zero? There must be a problem somewhere that I'm not noticing. Let's check our trade route. Iron gate. We're loading microchips. Hang on a second. Solaria is up here. Indigo. No, Solaria is here. Indigo is there. I'm going to get here. Okay. Okay, so we're picking up microchips from Iron Gate. They're being transported from Profundo down to Iron Gate. We're picking them up and we're dropping them off. So that's not good. It's not what we wanted. We just want to pick up. We're also picking up from Indigo. Hmm. All right, let me just check where these guys are going. Okay, so we take, we do not need to pick up from Indigo. The main base is Iron Gate. Let's see, Indigo do not pick up. Pick up only from Iron Gate. Which means we need to set a minimum to keep in the warehouse. We do that by right clicking. Set it to 20. It's going down quite a lot. We might need to make one more Marco ship factory. Let's just wait it out. Apart from that, everything is going well. Eco engineers are satisfied. We need to start making bio drinks and pasta. Okay. For pasta, we need wheat, pasta, vegetables, and then the pasta production. First, we need glass, which we have plenty of. As you can see, they're full. Maxed out at 245 tons. Excellent. Okay, we need a wheat fertility. create one here. Warning. So, you didn't forget the initiative. We'll just buy it. This 
stuff's just in from headquarters. Thank you. Agreed. New fertility available. Oh yeah, I also wanted to show you the slots in the warehouse. There used to be only three. I believe I unlocked one when I met geniuses. I can't remember. I, I didn't check beforehand. But as we can see here, there are two more slots, but they're locked. I need 1,250 geniuses to unlock them. So that's six slots for an island, which is a lot better than the original three. Okay, so we have wheat here. We need glass. Oops. Give me the glass, thank you. Let's also grab some wood. Okay, I can't remember the ratio, but let's just go for it. Let's get some more power. Okay, our pasta needs a river slot, so... Let's build the wheat around here. Four farms. Quite big. Was that always four farms? Thought it was more, but uh, okay, let's throw all of that. One pasta. We have plenty of river slots here. Wow, well, that's a long trip. It's a long trip. Let's redo this. Game saved. Game saved. Uh, I will get this done. There we go. Done. Okay, one wheat factory. 
one flour meal for the pasta. New vegetables, which we're making here. We have plenty of vegetables. Let's set the minimum to 30. Let's pick up veggies and drop them off. Okay, that means we need a pasta factory. Let's build that here. They look the same. On either side. Heads up, folks. Trench coat's treasure trove is coming. Okay, we have resources. This guy won't calm down. They're still producing. Warning. Very slow. Production breakdown. Wow, wheat is very, very slow. Finally. Looks like we might need two grain farms for each one. Yeah. Warning. Decreased fertility due to pollution. Let's keep that similar. Eco balance. Values rising. We need something back here. Maybe some trees. What do our decorations have? A tool shed. Loading area. Couple of trees. Oh, too much trees. I think we need a fence. Fence of source. It's still locked. Need a few more engineers for that. How about our tycoons? Yeah, security fence.
so I still want to eat. We have two running. That should be enough. Just gonna let this roll out. See how it plays out. We even have a fence around here now. Looks a bit better. Get some more roads. Maybe a light or two. There we go. That's looking pretty cool. I don't like this red triangle though. That's annoying. How slow are these grain farms? That's incredible. They're running at 100%. Do not tell me I need to Warning. make three. Production breakdown. All right, that should be cool now. Should be cool. Okay. So we also need the bio drinks. Can't make them yet. We need some more engineers. I'll work on that. Check out the graphics. Look how glowy it is. The lava. Need to make steel. Needs to be hot. Real hot. Oh, I forgot about this. Waste impactor. Running at 100%. There we go, it's a nice view. Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 4. Hope you enjoyed it, and click that like button if you liked it. Catch you next time, take it easy.